Now's my chance. Beetlejuice is pure freedom. I'm just gonna go nuts. There's not a lot of character depth, the growth with Beetlejuice. I mean, he is kind of what he is, and he has his own set of rules. I wanted him to be funny, but also kind of scary. You're a figment of my imagination. Really? He's like a thing that could come from any period of time. It reveals certain things about him that we didn't know from the first movie, but that's why I love going back to it. Like looking in a mirror. He's a giant jolt of pure electricity. Michael tapped right back into it. It was kind of amazing. I was speechless when I saw him. It's indescribable. You know, like, what year is this? I had a scene with Beetlejuice, just the two of us. We both realized we never had that in the first movie. Just a moment with Michael. I had that Beetlejuice face in front of me. Uh. It's the first time that I've seen an actor completely transform. He adjusts his voice, and suddenly it's Beetlejuice. The juice is loose. Hearing him do that voice is just thrilling. It was like going to a weird wedding or reunion or something. It was very beautiful for me to see him come back to life. I'm a grown man, and I'm running around doing insanely silly things. I need it upstairs. It's tremendous fun. Yes! Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Ah, you said it twice. Just say it once more. Come on. Oh, jeez. No. No, you don't speak. <laughs>